The search continues for two missing fishermen on Red Lake. The Red Lake Department of Public Safety reports it did not have any success locating either 29-year-old Dylan Bolio or the 17-year-old boy who were on a Red Lake fisheries boat when it flipped on Monday. Authorities say flight operations were once again conducted by the Minnesota DNR and U.S. Border Patrol, in addition to a citizen from Marshall County who volunteered to fly his personal aircraft. Watercrafts were also launched throughout the day, and boat operators faced iced over conditions, but managed to search a wide area between First and Third Bridge near the cutoff, and areas near where the fishermen were last believed to be seen. Following the watercraft search, the decision was made to no longer use boats due to the lake starting to freeze over. Ground searches of shorelines were also performed by local community members near the cutoff as well, but unfortunately turned up nothing. The search will continue on Thursday morning and volunteers are still needed. The Law Enforcement Command Center is being moved to a new location at Third Bridge Road just southwest of the cutoff for continued ground and shoreline searches. Once again, the department is asking for volunteers and the Tribal Council has granted administrative leave for any employees wishing to assist in the searches. The command center will be set up at about 9 in the morning and all volunteers can start registering at 8 and are reminded to dress in a manner that is consistent with the weather conditions. Red Lake Department of Public Safety officials are urging safety and reminding people that lake ice is still forming near shorelines and great discretion should be used when venturing on frozen shorelines. Officials are asking that volunteers stay away from the open water until ice is properly formed and the lake is completely frozen over with an adequate amount of ice for driving by vehicle. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.